Now it's time to actually call my first guest, Raja. So, Raja, you know, uh, India has been in the news a lot about, uh, uh, you know, about its uh, achievements. And this is, I'm not talking about software or uh, pharma. I'm talking about uh, open defecation. And uh, this must have something to do with the government. So, I want to ask you what exactly is happening in India. I know you have sent me a few slides. Just tell me when to start. These are the questions that I'd like you to answer. Thank you, Shama. Uh, I think, Shama, this whole uh, issue relates to both uh, policy intent and policy implementation. How far we have succeeded and what are the gaps? So we are trying to give a quick overview of uh, the major Indian program to address the sanitation, which is the Swachh Bharat mission. So this is a quick snapshot uh, of a very complex program. So the, it's called the Swachh Bharat mission. It's also called the Swachh Bharat Abhiyan or the Clean India mission. I'm using all these three expressions so that uh, in case uh, uh, participants see it in various places, they, there is no confusion. They are all the same. Now, globally, perhaps this is the largest ongoing effort for sanitation improvement and at its heart is also behavioral change. Now, there was a Swachh Bharat mission or SBM-1, which was 2014 to 19. The original target was to complete everything and to achieve all the results within this time frame. Now, the fact that it has not been all completed is not, uh, uh, you know, something necessarily bad. It just reflects that uh, uh, creating these kind of changes and getting into these kind of transformation really takes time. So the Swachh Bharat mission has been extended now from 2021 to 2026. Now at its heart, uh, the objectives call for ending manual scavenging, the prevention of open defecation and uh, uh, scientific solid waste management. Now the prevention of open defecation and ending manual scavenging are all linked ultimately to uh, creating of safe sanitation systems and elements. In the rural areas, the focus has been more on toilets in this regard. In urban areas, it has been the toilets as well as uh, uh, solid waste uh, management. Now what was the baseline when this was started? At that time, India had about a half a billion people who were uh, deemed to be, as per our records, uh, not having toilets and defecating in the open. And all the untreated toilet waste water and things like that was the single most important source of uh, water pollution. And another government study estimated that 70% of the water pollution all related to this particular uh, uh, source. Thank you. Next. So what are the key components and what were the efforts in? And why was it different from earlier efforts? Because improving sanitation has been the goal uh, right from independence. And uh, this has been over 75 years. But uh, the change has started when for the very first time, this has been pushed to becoming at the very top of the political uh, policy agenda, where the head of the state personally uh, took the lead and announced it was important. And uh, when the head of the state announces this and says it is his program, it has a very strong signaling effect down the line of the entire bureaucracy. This has been combined with relentless pressure uh, uh, through the administrative uh, uh, systems and delivery systems. Uh, India has over 4,000 cities and several hundreds of thousands of villages. So it, the pressure gets put down. And there are several other elements and uh, uh, all combined together made it uh, uh, different. But I would like to uh, highlight a few from this. One is that uh, uh, this was the first time that a very uh, strong effort to make, if you talk of the cities, uh, the cities, you know, uh, be part of a competitive framework for recognition. So they were scored and they were ranked on uh, how they were uh, uh, doing. And uh, uh, similarly, there was an attempt to uh, define uh, 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 what is it, uh, 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 various pathways for uh, uh, maturity, uh, improvement, getting funds. And uh, all this was uh, backed by an annual independent uh, cleanliness survey of cities. So multiple elements. So if we are to dream of making ODF free, what exactly does this mean? The government had made a pathway 
of uh, various levels of ODF of uh, the which is making this uh, uh, what's the open defecation free at its very core when we just say ODF it is proxied by the number of toilets but uh, uh, a lot of Indian cities have achieved this in 2021 over 96 percent of the cities have achieved this but if we look at uh, higher uh, levels of uh, you know what exactly do we mean by open defecation freedom and uh, that kind of status uh, there is something called ODF plus plus which means for example that uh, the uh, uh, waste matter is also environmentally safely handled and evacuated and in this context it is a higher level of reflection of ODF just summarizing this uh, we are reporting on ODF, where ODF is reflects uh, a number of toilets, but a more stringent and a higher uh, uh, way of defining open defecation freedom is when uh, it is not only toilet, but it is toilet plus water availability and their safe evacuation. So are we been successful? Yes. In terms of our indicator, yes, we have met the targets. In terms of number of toilets, we have made more than 100 million over the past uh, uh, seven to 10 years. And uh, policy makers have declared India's uh, open defecation free. But if we define open defecation in terms of the government's ODF, which is number of toilets, that's a minimalist threshold. And uh, we feel that the, uh, the standard of ODF++, which is within the government pathway, uh, should be the minimum acceptable uh, uh, sanitation standard. So yeah. we have achieved these things, but uh, we have to, uh, but we have to, you know, sustainability and uh, toilet construction by itself are uh, key issues. Then certain other areas. Now, since this, uh, this we have a competitive framework. We have an inspection system, an annual survey system that has to be continually. Uh, uh, you know, strengthened. The government can call for stress testing of this. We have national dashboards, but in addition to national and state, maybe they should provide at the city level so that uh, local citizens can be more aware of what is happening in their own locality and not just, uh, 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 you know, in the far, uh, 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 in the broader area. Then I'll take only one more and I'll uh, stop here, which is a relapsability indicator. Okay, we have met the target of ODF. We have made a lot of progress, but we need to make some kind of uh, indicator or assess the risk of relapsing, so, which we are saying to what extent uh, is there a relapsability you know, indicator? This has to be created. And perhaps we need our own specific indicators of how do we measure progress in uh, slums. Uh, thank thank you. you. I tried to capture in a very quick uh, summary and therefore may have uh, uh, glossed over was some issues. Good. It was just a snapshot view of yeah. uh, the Indian experience and uh, uh, where policy should also focus. Mm -hmm.